A call to action on violent crime. This time it's coming from the head of the largest school district in Tennessee. MSCS Interim Superintendent Tony Williams says it's going to take an entire community to lower crime. But tonight she has a specific message for our parents. Action News 5's Kelly Cook was at this morning's news conference. And Kelly's live now to explain why chronic absenteeism is contributing to our city's crime problem. Kelly. Yeah, that's right, Joe. Tony Williams says when she was first appointed in 2022, she would have never imagined that today she would have seen 22 students that had lost their lives, mostly from violent crime. And she says those effects are far reaching. We stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. Before the business of MSES can begin. Please keep in your thoughts and prayers the family of Kadarius Hood. School board meetings all too often begin with remembering a student. It is with extreme heavy hearts that tonight our moment of silence is in remembrance of Justice Salisbury. Or staff member who has lost their life mostly due to violent crimes. Our babies are being affected and families are being torn apart. Thursday, Interim Superintendent Tony Williams called on community stakeholders to focus on some of the root causes of violent crime, but says issue number one for MSCS is making sure students are in school every day. Trying to understand, you know, ma'am, sir, why aren't you bringing your child to school? How can we offer you support? Is it food? Is it housing? And we work directly. We have a whole department that works directly with some of these state agencies to ensure that students are supported, families are supported. William says MSES has expanded community schools, wraparound services, and other efforts to keep children engaged in school instead of criminal activity. But legally, parents or legal guardians are ultimately responsible and could face criminal or civil truancy charges. Uh, now we're talking about chronic absenteeism, right? We're not, we're not talking about uh, a few uh, missed absences here or there, but when it goes on repeatedly, there have been repeated attempts at intervention. District Attorney Steve Mulroy says he supports increased use of civil penalties for truancy cases, but Williams says there's an even bigger issue looming. But first and foremost, those calls that I've gotten and the conversations I've had with parents, they're after school. So how do we keep students engaged after schools, weekends, late nights. How do we keep them engaged and know that you have to make good decisions? Well, the answer to that often comes through community partnerships. More on that coming up tonight at 6. Kelly Cook, Action News 5.